Hi, it's Steve and Joe from Fresh Agenda. And Steve, we're back having missed last. Yeah, we had some technical difficulties last time. There was a GDT event which uh, prevented us from actually recording a, a video. Um, it's only about in, in, you know, weak connectivity, I would call it. Yes. Yeah. Not between ourselves. No, hell no. More the internet. All right. So, yeah, we're back with another negative GDT result and still fairly bearish market conditions, although Short there's term. there's yeah. signs of improvement, we think, yeah. coming. It eventually will swing up, but it's mm. just the case. And it always does. It always does. Um, so we're covering those three topics, as you said. Um, let's start with this and just round things up. Mm. Um, so... Big picture, a lot of water has fallen in the west of the US. Mm -hmm. um, that's changing the drought horizon. And whether that's going to weaken feed prices in the you know, short term, um, but also improve the um, capacity of, say, California, for one, to mm -hmm. produce more milk, that's, yeah. a, that's a change. Fertilizer prices continue to weaken. Um, Got that short-term Black Sea deal there. I mean, it's only a 60-day deal. You covered this in the newsletter this mm. week. Um, the risk is what happens next. Yeah. And um, tensions haven't got any easier between big players no. around that. So we put that as a risk mm. for grain prices. Um, we've, we've seen some data on uh, household spending being under pressure where, where data is available. I mean, I think what we're seeing, say, in Australia is probably playing out in these other major Western economies as well. The longer we have this pressure on incomes, Particularly um, through cost of borrowing and and other you know food inflation, we're we're seeing spending slow. So that's that's putting you know the discretionary part of dairy under pressure, um, and you know how that how that plays out will be different in different regions. But sure, it's mostly negative, and the bank meltdowns. Yeah, um, Silicon Valley Bank, um, Credit Suisse. Uh, there's been, you know, obviously some big news in terms of the financial um, system and whether that's, that contagion has been contained. Most people say it has been, mm. um, but obviously a lot of uncertainty there. And then the other policy pressures I guess we're highlighting, we've just had another IPCC yeah. report out uh, this week, just highlighting the challenge that's ahead of the world in terms of trying to limit warming. At the same time, a whole lot of farmers at the pointy end of some of these changes, um, particularly in Europe, mm. getting fairly upset about what's what lies ahead. And bringing their communities with them. Yeah, yeah, so based the Dutch, on the Dutch yeah. elections. That's yeah. an interesting thing to play out, and how that, whether that influences policy in that country. Sure. Um, so in dairy, yet um, slowing US milk growth. We saw some data this week, which uh, we aren't going to cover in any detail here, but um, that's... Um, uh still seeing cows being added yep um the eu in the meantime though that's um seeing you know milk prices continuing to tumble no real change in supply yet but it will come yes I mean, europe's got greater risks and this is one we do touch on later mm -hmm. is the you know does this drought situation get worse and you know we might see a, a fairly quick swing uh on the supply side in europe and that's probably the, the earliest thing we're going to change greatly in our outlook. Um, China's coming back. We'll touch on that shortly. South, Southeast Asian demand soon, mm -hmm. any time now. Yep. Um, but the, the other thing that's uh, playing out is weak European uh, cheese demand is pushing more product into export. Yeah. And it's part of, probably part of what's happened on GDT. But yes. Let's, let's get into Cheddar price. those results. And some of the some of the lead out was lead into this was pretty negative. Mm. This, you know, Europe's at the start of the flush. Um, and that is putting pressure on skim of prices, uh, skim of powder prices elsewhere. Yeah. So a lot of buyers may or may not be turning up <laughs> to GDT, mm. but but certainly not feeling it's under a great deal of pressure to secure yeah. product at the moment, are they? No, that's right. Bats have also weakened mm. New Zealand short term. Um but again, more supply in Europe is, is likely to come, and that's um, that's adding to the pressure. Mm -hmm. So this result um, was negative across the board. Yep. Uh, worse, obviously, worse in um, fats and and cheddar had a nightmare again. Um, 
that's down 20 percent in the last two events mm. um which is pulling things into line with um interesting background effects there <laughs> pardon me <laughs> we've seen the lead up um where, where we've got a you know corresponding prices the us has actually got a couple of red uh sorry green arrows yeah over there so things have stabilized in uh, fats and in cheddar some short-term squeeze of product availability but it's got nothing to do with what's going on in gdt no um so um you know the homo powder situation futures market pretty much got this right yeah um you'd have to say but we've got another you know declining line there with the last pulse result and the previous event so we're still we haven't found the bottom it seems no and that i mean the last lot of this week in, in the newsletter, we also had the import data from China mm. and, you know, that's still way, way down. Yeah. So, so that's the story. It. Even though there's a lot less being produced, there's a lot less being demanded. Mm. Mm. Um, so demand across the board was weak, weakest um, in in the fats, but you know, since Gimel Powder really started weak and quickly you know, it didn't stretch the event out and really didn't change the dynamic that it got underway with. Holman powder was a little better. Mm. Um, we don't show fats. I think mean, the, the fats were really low yes. throughout. Um, I think belies the risk. I think the fats trade, we've commented on this in our annual um, wrap-up of why fats trade came back so strongly. It had very little to do with developing regions, which are most of the buyers here. Um, so there is a risk for fats further that if food inflation stays pretty strong in those developing regions that it may not recover very quickly sure um what's the substitution going on yeah so china did its bit um the volumes even though you know you got to look at the orange line here which is the prior year so uh in volume terms this is a percentage um sorry this is these are tons we're showing here so mm. that's up in both cases, skimmer power obviously well ahead um, because of more product being available. Um, so there is, you know, some positive to be taken out of that. But, um, you know, Holman powder is still down those six events this year. Um, skimmer powder 80% up. Yeah. Quite different. Wow. So there's no pressure on the whole milk supplies yet for, um, you know, that's showing up on GDT because there's still plenty of product domestically. Yes. Southeast Asia di disappointed. Um, those tonnages were not enough to get, you know, to build momentum and keep this keep this result positive. Again, nine percent down in skim over the first few of this year. Mm. Alma powders also down. Yep. So that's um, you know weighing on these results. Um, what I'm uh, showing here is some of the other things that went on. Um, you know, we've got weak fats demand um, from both Southeast Asia and the Middle East in both cases, where they've yeah. stepped in before and and be part of a, uh, a good result. Um, not the case this time. Not this time. Yep. Um, so where it leaves us is these are pretty interesting because um, NZX futures will probably correct, but we've we've seen a you know convergence of skim milk powder prices down towards the European level. Um, Though, you know, Europe is still a little ahead of what the US is achieving. Mm. Um, but cheese, the um, the bugbear here is the cheap gouda coming out of Europe, which is, as you can see, priced around 3300 Yeah, that's still a US very, dollars. very low bar yeah. <laughs> against those other prices, even with that yeah. decline this, at this event. So that may still um, play havoc sure. in, this, um, in this situation. And the other one I love to pull back, but it's it's finally come back. <laughs> We've got a convergence. There's no difference between Holmwood powder and the synthetic values. Mm. Um, so that's yeah, been helped by the um, quick uh, decline in fat prices shown there that AMF is still a fairly healthy discount. Yeah. Right. I think that's probably it for GDT, Joe. You've got a couple of good charts to pick. Yeah. Yeah. One's percentages and one's tons. I just thought I'd throw that in for you. Yeah, thanks for telling me that. No um, I, I thought we'd have a look at what's happening in Europe mm -hmm. uh, with manufacturing. And I guess um, the the big story there is is where the the milk is going in the last, you know, one to three months. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and in percentage terms, now I'm trying to catch up with this chart, um, it's very much going to skim and butter, which is much more obvious in that percentage chart, isn't it? Yeah, these are these are cumulative. Mm. You know, one's, one's obviously six months versus three, so the bar's going to be bigger. Yeah. But it's consistently changing the year-on-year uh, -year percentages, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, it's actually a better chart. But i got one more for you. Oh. Which is... Um, just where the growth is occurring. Mm. So this is the last three months to January. It's quite narrow where it's happening. Um, across that, what we call the green belt. Yeah. Um, which is some of that's under under a bit of pressure. Now, there's been some rain in recent days. It's changed and made that chart look a little better than what it did last week. Mm. Um, so there's, you know, this is one to watch whether that um, drought situation, which is pretty grim in some regions, um, it takes more than a bit of rain to fix that. It's going to take quite a bit to change that is now that's going to gradually put more pressure on crops uh, pasture production as we get into the spring which is forecast to be hotter than normal I yeah um, those numbers on the right might start to change so it is it is important to uh, keep an eye on the detailing product mix as we move there'll be more milk in Europe if cheese demand stays weak those bars will stay green yes uh, so it is a pretty dynamic situation it sure is all right um, I think that's it. We got through it. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll be back again in a couple of weeks.